Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to display the communities here. So right now we just say OK here, string OK, but we need to display the communities. For that I have created this uh, Tailwind CSS behind the scenes, the Tailwind CSS table and the button here. OK, now the first thing, so let's uh, add the link. So let's go to the dashboard and I'm going to add the link here to go to the communities. So for that we need to go inside the resources, JS, layouts, authenticated view, and here we have the navigation links. And this is the dashboard. So let's copy this one and paste down there. Now, as you can see here, we have the same thing as in the Laravel, we have the road because the Inertia.js is used in the Ziggy package. So let's change the road now to be the communities.index and say here communities go and now we have communities here. But if I click, we just say OK, because in the controller, if I open the community controller, we in the index method, we return OK. And now we need to return the page here. So let's go and create inside the pages. We have the communities directory here. And let's save this page as index okay now we have the head which is going to be all communities the same thing down there sorry so let's copy this and paste it here and let's close the form because we don't need a form and say here is going to be the table. Now let's go to the communities. Oh yeah, I forget to return that view. So in the index, let's get first the all the communities and I'm going to say dollar sign communities is going to be with import the community model all for now. And if you go to the Inertia.js, you can see here we have the demo app and you can go to the source code on GitHub, which is this one. And in the controller, contacts controller, here's how we can add the transform the data. So we, this is working with throw and add the ID, the name, or if you don't want, don't add the ID. Another way is to create the uh, resources. The same we used for the API. We can just create the resource and use that in here. But for now, I'm going to say community all and let's say now inertia render that page we created. So inside the communities, we have the index page and I'm going to say the same we use for the Laravel so compact and communities okay now in the index here we have the table and we have import some uh, components we don't need them we don't need the use form, but we need the link here. Also remove this use form and this submit. Very good. Now let's go to this one. I'm going to select all copy and don't uh, worry. I'm going to push to the GitHub so you can go and get the Tidal CSS table there. 
Okay, copy that. And inside the index here, when I added the table, I'm going to paste that code in. Let's go in the browser and refresh now. Go to the communities. And here we have the table and this button. And right now, just hard coded Laravel, Laravel here. So how we can display that? We need first we added here the community so we need to accept and as you can see we have these defined props for errors instead of errors i'm going to say define props for the communities okay now we have the communities we added from the controller and uh, Let's go up here in this and say v4, v4 community in communities, add the key, which is going to be the community ID, community.id, and uh, here, instead of hardcoded Laravel, we need to display the name. So it's going to be the community.name. Okay, the same down there, community.slug. And uh, I think we are okay for now. So let's go and refresh. Yeah, now we have the Laravel and Vue.js, slug Laravel and Vue.js, okay. Now let's add the link here to go to the, and create a new community. So let's uh, up here, when we have a button on click, we need to go to the, there, but we can use the inertia link, so we, imported the inertia link here and we can say instead of uh, this button we can say just link okay with this class we'll go and create the community but we need also to add the shref here okay so refresh And if you go in the inertia links here, so we need to import the link and we can use link, add the shref. Also, we need, we say method post and as a button, it's going to type button. Now, if you like the, like this, okay. If you don't like, no problem. Okay, now I'm going to remove this type button here and say should I have to go to the communities slash uh, create. Now, if I come here and uh, refresh, of course, if I click, we go to the create and if I click to the communities, we go back. And now that's it's okay, but we can also add here a uh, bind this shref and say wrote communities dot create and refresh and we go back now what you like I think this is more okay communities create new community let's say now live wire a community and store we read it back we have this live wire here okay so now we added the link we display the communities and now let's push to the github because everything is okay so let's say git add a git commit 
and say display all communities and git push okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and see you in the next one